What's going on everybody? Got another video here for you. Let's look at the squeeze theorem. We use that to find limits. So the squeeze theorem says that if f of x is less than or equal to g of x, which is less than or equal to h of x, in other words g of x is between f of x and h of x, for all x in an open interval that contains a except possibly at a and the limit of f of x and the limit of h of x is x goes to a both equal l so they're both the same the limit of these two functions are both the same then the limit of f of x I'm sorry the limit of g of x as x approaches a is also equal to l all right so so one other theorem that I want to mention. Now I'm not going to write the whole theorem out, but the theorem says that if f of x is less than or equal to g of x, when x is near a except possibly at a, and the limits of f and g both exist as x approaches a, then the limit as x goes to a of f of x is less than or equal to the limit as x goes to a of g of x. Okay, so I didn't write the whole limit down, I just wrote this part of it down. But that's that's what the limit says. Now, this is the squeeze theorem. Sometimes you may hear it called uh, the sandwich theorem or pinching theorem. Okay, I'll call it the squeeze theorem. All right, so let's look at this. It says, use the squeeze theorem to show that the limit of x of, of the square root of x cubed plus x squared times the sine of pi over x as x goes to zero is equal to zero. So we want to show this limit is equal to zero. All right, now the first thing that I want you to know is we cannot not do this. The limit as x goes to zero of the square root of x cubed plus x squared times the limit as x goes to zero of sine of pi over x. Okay? We cannot say we cannot say that this is equal to this. Okay? Because yes, the limit of this is zero but this limit here does not exist. This limit here does not exist. And you, you can see that through a graph. I'm not going to go into all that, but just, just trust me on this one. This limit here, this limit here does not exist. So we can't do that. You can't, you're not going to do zero times something that doesn't exist. All right. So we're going to use the squeeze theorem. So what we need to do is we need to find a function that's smaller than this one and one that's bigger than this one. All right? And both of those functions have to approach zero. All right? So how are we going to do this? Well, let's look let's let's think of something that we we actually know okay now we know that the sine of pi over x is between negative 1 and 1 we know that and it, yes it can equal negative 1 and it can equal positive 1 all right so because, well, just think about it. Anytime you take the sine of any number, you're going to get a number between negative 1 and 1. All right? Now, I have this inequality here. Now, you know that if you have an inequality, you can multiply each part of that inequality by a positive number without changing the inequality. Okay, so if I take this inequality and I multiply it 
by the square root of x cubed plus x squared. Now, this is a positive number because the square root is positive. The square root of a number is positive. So I'm going to multiply each part by the square root of x cubed plus x squared. So that will give me negative square root of x cubed plus x squared is less than or equal to the square root of x cubed plus x squared times the sine of pi over x less than or equal to the square root of x cubed plus x squared. All right. And now, well, let's take the limit. Let's take the limit of this function and let's take the limit of this function as x goes to zero. So we've got the limit as x goes to zero of negative square root of x cubed plus x squared is equal to negative square root. I can just plug the zero in, zero cubed plus zero squared, and that equals zero. And then the limit as x goes to zero of this function, the square root of x cubed plus x squared, is equal to the square root of 0 cubed plus 0 squared equals 0. And since the limit of this function is equal to 0, and the limit of this function is equal to 0 as x approaches 0, then by the squeeze theorem, the limit as x goes to 0 of square root of x cubed plus x squared times the sine of pi over x is equal to 0. So we showed it. Now, let's look at, let's look at a graph. Let's look at the graph and see what this looks like. Uh, so I've got it graphed here. So this one on top, this is the square root of x cubed plus x squared, this blue graph. And the green one is negative square root of x cubed plus x squared. And you can see this red one, that's the graph of square root of x cubed plus x squared times sine of pi over x. And you can see how this graph goes. And look at this, it stays in between these two functions here and as it and you see you can see how it squeezes it right here how how it goes to zero right here so that's what it looks like that's what the graph of it looks like of all three functions so you know it is what it is so you know the squeeze theorem it's not that difficult to do okay it's not it's not bad uh, so I don't know I might do a video on another problem uh, and post it later another problem doing the squeeze theorem but you know they're they're pretty straightforward they're not bad so i hope this video helped check out my other videos give me a like share subscribe comment thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one later